Hi, I'm Dr. Heatsink and I'm here to show you a faster way of creating stylized polygon hair for characters. With this technique, I skip retopology and unwrapping individual components, processes that take ages and often bore artists to death. Having pre-unwrapped and game-ready meshes as your sculpt's first subdiv reduces retopology to little or no adjustment required. For creating hairbrushes, I start in Maya. I simply create a cube subdivided 4x4x16, four by four by where 16 is the number of segments the hairpiece will have. For longer pieces, you may need more segments. I unwrap it using the unitized tool so that I have perfectly square UVs and stitching like so. The ends are a bit complicated, but I have to pull a little from each side. It is important that the mesh is all quads to give ZBrush an easy time in dividing it. This is sent to ZBrush, where I manipulate the mesh to form some basic hair pieces. I may have pieces that needed extending into more segments, in which case they will be re-unwrapped in Maya. These are added to my Anime Hair IMM brush. Inspecting a piece using the UV Master reveals that the UVs are preserved in the IMM brush. To actually use the brush, I have a hair cap mesh to place them onto. It's just a copy of the head at one subdiv and trimmed like a swimmer's cap. Initially placing hair pieces is a quick click and drag, but most of your manipulation is going to be through the gizmo and move brush. Split the hair piece off whilst the cap is still masked. You can also copy pieces easily with control shift and dragging on an arrow. Use auto groups to easily make each piece its own polygroup. Use mass by polygroup to keep your sculpting to a single piece, or keep it off to sculpt them as one. This makes it easy to make contagious hair pieces such as fringes and bangs out of smaller parts which can always be split off later. Once you've got your hair sculpted the way you like, you'll want to make sure that all pieces are their own subtool before you export everything out as an FBX file. Export your subdiv 1 as your low poly your highest subdiv as your high poly, and a decimated version for any topology corrections you might need to do. The base mesh I've created is fully unwrapped as well, and the topology has animation loops already. No need to retopologize for what I'm doing here, which is another great way of speeding things up. After importing the low poly from ZBrush to Maya, we can begin the organizing of the UVs. For hair, it's literally a two-step process. However, ZBrush may split your UVs due to subdivision. If you attempt to use layout here, you may find that your UVs will become nonsensical, like this. To fix this, select all hair pieces, switch to UV mode, and select all UVs. Go to cut or sew, merge, and set it to something like 0.001 and apply. Now switch to UV shell, go to modify, Layout with the option box and configure it to only translate and have some decent padding. Click Layout and instantly your UVs are proportioned to fit the area. Since we are using Substance and Marmoset to texture our UVs, it isn't necessary to logically organize the UVs to make sense from the 2D view. We can apply the same logic to the base head here, though on a final character you would probably organize this a little more manually. Doing this makes sure they are using as much space as possible whilst being perfectly proportioned. Export your low poly for baking in Marmoset. Set up your baking environment in Marmoset with a bake group and within that a folder for every piece. You'll want to project the listed maps. The results here are quite good, but there are a couple of caveats here to avoid which I'll go through at the end. I've got an anisotropic lighting setup here with a shift map I learned to create by following a breakdown from Twitter user Nono. There is a link to the breakdown in the description and here is how I did this in Photoshop. Make a square map with a size of your choosing and add noise with around 130% strength. Use the crystallize filter to increase the size of the noise followed by a motion blur going straight down and at a large distance. Add a gradient map with values ranging between a dark red and a brighter red. Something like 64 as low and 190 high. You can adjust it later if it's too much. Use levels to increase the contrast and finally transform the layer to clip the edges so that everything is a bit more even. 
save or export this to Marmoset. Import the new anisotropic shift map into Marmoset on the hair mesh's material, setting anisotropic as the secondary reflection if you haven't done that already. You can now play with the gloss and intensity until you get the effect that you want. Just remember that it is affected by the gloss value on your gloss map and the gloss value multiplier setting. That was the most direct way of getting polygon hair from high poly sculpt to low poly mesh, skipping a massive amount of retopology and unwrapping work simply by bringing those steps forward. There are some things to be careful of though. 1. Twists in hair require more geometry and any kind of sculpting on twists must not betray the directional flow. And 2. The rule of 90 degree angle still applies on low poly meshes. If you make your hair mesh too thin on one side, you can get some rendering and projection errors due to edge smoothing. And number three, finally, optimizations have to be done after you've exported the low poly. Areas that are quite flat and don't need the density, you'll have to delete the edges yourself afterwards. The last cool thing to mention, by making these brushes quad only, we can make quite detailed hair brushes and then simply rebuild the lower sub divs easily. Thanks for watching this tutorial. It's been awesome to try out this technique and get a nice result quite quickly. I'm going to be using this for the character I'm going to be modeling next to really push it as far as it can go. I'll be looking into making merged hair with this and follow up with advancements on this brush, a substance tutorial and a streamed character process. If you found this useful, let me know and give this a like. Thanks and bye bye.